I started off painting graffiti, so um, I, I wanted to be able to find a way to, to keep painting publicly and big, because I like to go big, and I like painting on concrete, uh, I, I like this uh, canvas. Um, I wanted to find a way to do that and uh, not have to pay for paint. So. <laughs> So I figured if I can if I can turn it into a job, then I don't ever have to pay for paint. I'd like for people to see um, more of how I see the world. I think, uh, which which comes through in, in my more more personal art. It's 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 more of an insight into into how I see things. And I live in a very beautiful world, very colourful, very vibrant. Uh, very dynamic, very detailed. Um, that's that's my the nature of my reality, and I'd love to share that with people. Been seeking wisdom to spit it on the mic. A lot of the time, graffiti is is a phase for a lot of for a lot of kids. I think um, they just want to go out and be naughty, and I've got some spray paint from their dad's workshop, and the they're just out causing mischief you know and and for other people it's it's a lifestyle and and there's cert certain rules in a way um for some people but i think everyone has their own rules as well so like for me i didn't go paint over anything that i liked or i didn't go paint over anything that actually had a decent amount of work put into it um just just because of my own values so this is uh this is some artwork that i've that i've done um which has obviously been uh unofficially collaborated with uh maybe mob deep collaborated they could have hit me up but um as you can see we've got some nice uh abstract penises going on nice positive message hi um, but yeah, no, that's what happens though, you know, like uh, in a spot like this, we're under a bridge at the moment. Yeah. Part of, part of what I do is, is, uh, is also understanding the fact that it could, it may not just, it may not last forever. It may only last a week before someone comes along and, you know, wants to scribble on it or something or express themselves over it. Um, and yeah, it's all part of it. It's all part of part of the process I guess and you gotta kinda of, you gotta kinda of take it on the chin a bit otherwise you know if I got if I got fired up every time someone someone scribbled on some of my stuff I think I'd be always getting fired up so the beautiful thing about it is that you could just come and uh, paint over it. So these, these pieces were uh, organized by a lady, Sue Lusk, from Destination Waikanae and she really loves birds, pukekos in particular. She asked me to paint some pukekos down here and um, we, wanted to, we wanted to also encourage, try and, try and discourage people from dumping rubbish because people tend to dump rubbish down here quite a lot and it's, quite a, it's a bit of a shame, especially in summer, it's quite a lot of families and stuff come down here and use the river. Uh, and people were just dumping heaps of rubbish down here, so that's part. That's why this poo kicker over here is picking up rubbish. It's kind of like, bro, pick up your rubbish. Um. So we got asked. We got like put as a group from school, and then we got asked if we had any ideas. And so then like working with Leo, I guess it came up with like ideas like nature and like the native animals and like plants, flora, fauna. And what was your point? <laughs> um, well, I don't know, we just all kind of contributed little ideas. And then it became a whole idea. Yeah, and then Theo put it all together, came up with this really cool. Um, all, so me and my 
brother. I said, oh well. <laughs> We've done all like all the bits in this colour, but not all the up there because we can't reach up there. So we've done all the small bits down. I wonder what you're going to do now. Yeah, for me, uh, generally when it comes to creating murals, I the process is I figure out what, what base colour I sort of want to start with. So for this one, I wanted to clean it up a bit. There's a bit of rust and things like that there and I have some yellow paint. So I put a yellow background there. I'm really enjoying working with portraiture at the moment, so I've, I've, I find reference images on, um, I either take reference images or I find reference images on Google, and for this one I found uh, this beautiful portrait side profile of this, of this woman here, and I thought it was quite cool because she has this really sort of soft, soft but strong look about her, and I found this image of this hand which is quite quite delicate it almost looks like she's offering something and then brought in a, a G clef because of I love the flow of this uh, of the symbol here the G clef and I thought it'd be quite cool having this image of this woman sort of offering offering up music because music is a, is a big deal and it's a big deal to me and um, my design process as well I'm always listening to music I'm always listening to music when I paint as well and um, so I'm really enjoying working with the sort of different tones and things like that and, and the realism with portraiture but then I wanted to bring in some cartoon type style as well I, I really like thick black lines and strong blocks of color so I um, wanted to add in a bit of a bit of something that that made it a bit more authentic as well using colors like the two tones of green and white to sort of uh, complement the yellow as well that acts as an like a sketch in a way so I take this image and then I print it out and I use I use that printout as as sort of like a blueprint design when I'm creating the piece so I go to the wall and that this is this acts as like a guideline for me to then create Any problem can only find solution on a mission to pursue truth and everything go and come right back just like it used to you and everything came true just like they promised you and it's still true we still move where the sun goes to all for the love only got one so we'll take my chance roll up dots and marry take me for a dance to flap the wings and flew back home oh did someone tell me where the time do go is it time to go but hold on gotta get up while it's warm while we're feeling right at home it's a good thing before it's gone or maybe the calm before the storm but the patience for some waiting time spent wasting some of our greatest moments got a gang of good ones gotta keep it up gotta keep it floating got a gang of good ones here gotta keep it up gotta keep it floating got a gang Gang of good ones here, gotta keep it up, gotta keep it floating. Got a gang of good ones here, gotta keep it up, gotta keep it floating. I'm doing this because I think it's a really cool thing to be able to, when I come back here in the summer with my family and my friends, it's going to be really cool just to be able to see the toilet blocks look way better than they do, if that makes sense. And it's quite cool to be able to showcase some awesome parts of New Zealand and some of the cool aspects that we have in Aotearoa as well but yeah and so I'm part of the youth council as well and so this is a youth council project that we've been working on for a little while to get up and running. I'm a firm believer that, that we that we create our own reality in the, in the sense of that everything is about individual perception and mindset and how we experience the world around us. As much as other people are co-creating that existence, it's very much an inner thing. That, that original graffiti mindset that I had still carries through, um, but the perception has changed. So tagging for me isn't just about going and tagging your name on a wall it's it's how many how many posts on 
Instagram or Facebook, that's each tag, is a, each post is a tag out there, you know. How many paintings are out there in different homes, that's a tag in each home, you know, how many walls are, are out there. Um, and, and yeah, I, I guess tagging ideas, like, uh, Entering, entering people's people's mind a bit, and and tagging in their tagging in their brain, in their subconscious or conscious mind as well. I really, I really admire artists that that come out and just just push people's people's comfort zone. I, I love that. There's, and I definitely want to do that, um, and. It's just finding that balance for me because this is a full-time thing. There's an element of, of, of business that has to come into it where somebody wants me to paint their, their yard and they want a specific thing and they want, they want something that, you know, it's, it's not completely from me and I have to take that into consideration as well. I can't just, just put a naked lady in someone's garden. Well, unless they wanted that, that'd be cool. But like, so I, I I really appreciate when artists when artists do do that, and they just they just come out and they're like, this is me, this, and and they and they provoke thought and and maybe even offend some people a bit. Because yeah. blue is the sky, the red means the hair, mm. and the the red is the, the blood. blood. Yeah. Despite the next rapper giving it a wipe, keep pushing it was more than just a little more on the side. I be the kind of guy with glitter in the eye, but don't want to be a star because they're just glitter in the sky. Beautiful. Yeah, really. The paintings down in Otahanga Domain that were done recently. So much positive feedback. I haven't heard one one bit of negative feedback from anyone, and and I love that. And I love I love the fact that 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 artwork can can really broaden people's day literally i've seen his work and it's in, it's incredible so real life isn't it raj all that passes by purely they live for the eyes sometimes mine are more focused on the ties am i right guys it's natural with animals inside i'm practical and life just inefficient so this mural behind me is another another one of my murals i painted um at the end of 2017 uh Kapiti coast district council we had a call for submissions and uh, so I thought, hell yeah. I was in Auckland at the time and, and uh, working as a screen printer and I submitted, submitted a design and it got chosen. So I thought, okay, I'll quit my job and come down here. I thought, I thought it'd be a good, uh, a good, a good introduction for me uh, into my, my next step in my career as an artist. This is the biggest wall I've painted to date. So, um, it was cool. It was a cool, a cool way for me to, to have that boost of confidence uh, to, to, to start pursuing this as a full-time thing. I actually first started uh, drawing and being hugely inspired by like comic book characters uh, X-Men for example when I was in primary school me and my brother used to draw draw these images and images like this and um, trade them for spare change or or roll-ups <laughs> um, so I've been doing this for a little while <laughs> selling my art for a while now I said it's a little more than loose change these days but I love this sort of imagery you know um, it's very powerful Powerful imagery. It's kind of freaky as well. You know, sort of abstract portraiture, and then you can see a bit of my graffiti roots coming through as well. So this this white lettering in here says the T A S, which is my initials, but it also it also stands for the Art Saves, which is sort of a play on the whole superhero thing. You know, so um, the idea that creating art and self-expression is a is a is a way to not only heal myself but also heal others as well coming home, coming home, yeah. we've got